What's going on everyone, Only Sports back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the most recent and important news out of the Toronto Blue Jays organization. Of course, that is the fact that they are calling up Gabriel Moreno, the catcher prospect. He's the number one prospect in the Toronto Blue Jays organization, and he's the fourth best prospect in all of baseball. This is a huge deal um, as they are calling him up for... Uh, the series against the Detroit Tigers, it's going to be very, very exciting, uh, very, very interesting, and we'll see how Gabriel Moreno plays, um, and I think he's going to play at some point in, you know, this series, because you take a look at Charlie Montoyo and, um, you know, what he kind of goes by, he doesn't really want guys sitting for too long, so we're probably going to see Gabe Moreno in this this move to call up the 22-year-old comes just after Danny Jansen placed on the IL. So it's interesting. But I think the Blue Jays need to, uh, you know, the, the the trade deadline's August 2nd. So the Jays need to, I would think they're probably going to trade one of the catchers. It won't be Gabriel Moreno, that's for sure. And I certainly hope it's not Alejandro Kirk. And as much as I like Danny Jansen, I hope it's him because... You know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, you just look at the Jays. You can't have too many catchers. You could carry two very good catchers, but if you have a third, then you're just kind of taken away from what you can do um, on the trade market and how you can fill other gaps on the team. But let's get into some of the numbers for Gabe Moreno in his time in the minors. And in the minors, in 227 career games, he's been a 310 hitter. No question about what he could do. He's not so much a home run guy, but he can definitely get you a lot of hits. Um, and, you know, maybe he can develop that power and, and start to hit some home runs. Um, again, he's just 22 years of age, so still tons of room to grow. But look at this season in, you know, AAA, in, 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 you know, in Buffalo. 36 games played, 136 at-bats. He hit 324 last year in the minors with, um, you know, AA, AAA. You know, when you take a look at, you know, his sample size over the course of 37 games, he had 367. So there's no question how good he is with his bat, and not to mention his defensive play is very, very good as well. The Blue Jays have a good problem to have, and that is having too many good players at one position. You take a look at what they have at the catcher spot. They have four very, very good catchers. Zach Collins, uh, Alejandro Kirk, Danny Jansen, and now Gabe Moreno. So we'll see what they choose to do. But I would think after the deadline, they'll probably have three of those four guys. Um, I don't know who they're going to trade, but I think it's more likely Danny Jansen, and I'm hoping that's the case. Um, I think you can get a really good return for Danny Jansen, maybe a good, um, you know, long inning relief guy, or maybe a end of game guy, like an eighth, or seventh, or eighth inning guy, uh, you know, in the back of the bullpen. I think that would be a smart deal for the Jays to try and. Trade one of the catchers and gets a piece that could really help us win. I think, you know, pitching-wise, we've been pretty good, especially in the starting rotation. We don't have any issues there. But there's no question I think the Jays need a, um, you know, late-inning relief guy. So we'll see if they choose to get that. I'm sure they will. It's just a matter of what they will give up. And I think they should give up one of the catchers. And I think they will. I mean, you don't want to really have to carry four, you know, catchers on the roster. So... I think they'll carry three and, and ultimately trade one, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. But Gabe Moreno coming up is very, very exciting news. Uh, like I said, he's the number one prospect in the Blue Jays organization of very good prospects, and he's the number four in all of baseball. So it's exciting that he's getting the call up, and we'll see um, what he does and how he can contribute. Hopefully he plays and gets a start and you know shows off what he's been uh, you know raved about. But I think he will be a very, very good star catcher in the league. But guys, overall, this is very exciting news um, as a baseball fan in general, not just as a Jays fan, but, you know, when one of the top prospects comes up to the big leagues, it's, obvious, it's obviously an exciting thing around the league. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to have an eye out on Gabe Moreno, especially, you know, this weekend in his first series. We'll see what Charlie Montoya likes to do with him, but I would think at some point he will see some action in this weekend series at, uh, you know, against the Tigers in Detroit. So... It's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully Mourinho is able to show what he's you know, made of and what everyone's been talking about him for. I think he will. I think he will be a very, very good player in the MLB, like I said. And I'm really excited 
for this journey for him. But you guys, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on the Blue Jays calling up their top prospect in the you know the Major League Baseball's number four prospect, Gabe Mourinho. Let me know what you think. Let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. And as always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Let's go, Blue Jays.